That's right, it's Generation 3 time. Folks liked and subscribed so much that I thought, heck, why not keep spending thousands of dollars on plushies? Plus, secretly, don't tell my wife, I bought all of these before I knew the series would do well. I mean, you gotta beat the scalpers, you know? And plus, I like putting them in my pocket for regular videos! Now then, Sitting Cuties, also known as Pokémon Fit in Japan, are a line of small plushes that include every Pokémon. And every form, too. Last time, we even went over every unknown. Yeah, a plush of each unknown, huh? <laughs> So that was more than $200. And this time we get to see every Deoxys. But that's later, way later in fact. For now, let's go through each one of these in order and just kind of say something about each one. It's Trico. It's my boy. Here he comes. And what a starter it is. Love his outward arms. Really? I'm flying while sitting down. Ask. Grovile has the floppiest leaf so far. This would give Chikorita a run for its money. The leaves are also really nicely made. Septile has spiky toes. Also, its arms are in a T-pose. And the tail! Oof! It's so painful! The spiky and oddly shapedness of it hurts. But the back balls are fun orbular shapes. Torchic! <gasps> She's so perfect! The little feet, the tiny fiery tuft, the neck frills, A+. Plus. The cute proportions, mwah! Combuskin here is both more and less wiener shaped. Like front on, yeah, it's a bird with a lot of weird sharp claws, but really, it's a wee wee. Maybe if the arms were more in the front and not out to the side, it would break up the balls shape. Insert thematically appropriate manscaped promo. But no, it's Blaziken time. I like that its hands are flat on the ground. Like if you were to walk up to it and ask what it's thinking about, it would say, stuff, and dangle its legs over a cliff or something. Overall, the design of the plush is good. The hair is well made and the face horns are curved properly and the arms and legs are firm yet forgiving. The detail overall is quite well done. Too bad it's Blaziken. Now, the pose is perfect. It's just sort of sitting like a good dog. And you can flip its head thing back and forth. And it's so soft. Nothing wrong with this one. Nothing whatsoever. I really like it. Marsh Tomp, unfortunately, has the head fin and tail fin made out of felt and thus are no longer fun to touch. But the arms are hollow so that they are really soft and fun to squish. It's also got a good amount of pokiness on the cheeks. It's all kinda all over the place though. I would simultaneously give it an A and a D, which I guess is just a C plus. Swampert is not bulky enough, it's so light! And its sitting posture is terrible because of the fin that goes all the way up to its junk. Which looks quite silly when you're looking at it face on because it's got its legs spread wide like a toll bridge on free weekends. But if you hold its head fins down, it looks like a cool guy from the early 2000s. Poochiena! Aw, oh, sit boy, sit good boy! Oh, you did the thing! Oh, you're still doing it! Go, go, go! Love the eyes and all the printed fabrics. This method on the plushies makes them look top notch. Much better than tacked on fabric most of the time. But it can have its negatives. See here, the printed fabric looks white near the seams in this gray color. And the little back flaps are white edged, unfortunately. And the teeth are hilariously snaggly, but that doesn't have anything to do with the printed fabric. It's just another negative point, so it gets a D. A D for dog. That, that, that's perfect. It's a perfect score. Mighty Enna! Along with Manectric and Absol, sold out in seconds on release. What is with you people and dogs? Should I be concerned? It's kind of gross. Hyenas aren't even dogs. But anyway, I like the curvature of the ears, but the nose looks crooked, I think. And the back fur is weird and feels empty because there's nothing really keeping it in place. Also, is the tail upside down? It should be pointing upwards instead of getting mushed into the ground as it sits, right? Zigzagoon! This is the best raccoon boy. It's so great. I love how textured it is. I wouldn't call this a sit, but it's still a cracking good plushie. I also like thinking of the tail as a cone of fun. Hello, it is I, Lanoon. I am very soft and fun to pet because I've got a thick booty. I'm sorry, inside joke. But that's that's just how Lanoon speaks, okay? And if you pet this plush the way the arrow points, it feels terrible. <laughs> so there's that. Oh no, Wurmple is perfect. It's so textured with little nubbins, and it's got good patterning on its tail. Nothing is overly stiff. It's a really good plush, and it's cute, and it sits, unlike the other Caterpillar Mon. Bonus points! Silcoon and Cascoon are both very well made, and also they are fun to rub because of the semi-soft spikes. I like that they got the differences between them actually different. The spike placement and the eyes, along with the texture stitching, it shows that they actually sort of care about these things. How strange. Beauty Fly, another Butterfree tear plush. One of the best, but not quite. 
If the wing tails weren't so long, it'd be better. Right now, they get all bent out of shape. But the proboscis sort of makes up for it by being perfectly stiff, and yet it gives way for hugs. And its antenna are super fun to shake. Dustocks. Wow, it's uh, like a ribbed bullet. Vibrady. It's also got the sharpest wings I've ever laid my fingers on. Do not touch. Also, why are the beans in its face? Is that the bottom? Hmm. Look at that! He's probably the cutest little guy. The lily pad is actually rigid, so it's not floppy. And the little feet! <gasps> Though I guess I wouldn't really classify this as a sit. And its mouth is so long. Bray has a really hard disc in its hat lily pad thing. And mine's got plenty of misaligned bits. So its head looks kind of lumpy. Other than that though, yeah, it can sit. Pointy feet. Ludicolo. Looks like Ludicolo, but squeezed out of its shell. The bottom is so tall. The dress isn't long enough. And it seems so extra saturated, like it's overripe. Though I do like that the hat is still nice and rigid, but not too rigid, like Lombre's. It's got really good squeezability. And bonus, when you squeeze it, it doesn't speak like the other Ludicolo plush. Shush. See, that is so cute, but its little dingle on the bottom makes it kind of hard to sit. But that's about, that's about it. It's just cute. Uh... The hat's little top looks like a straw, though. Sort of weird to think about, but with the raise in popularity of nut milks and all. Nuzzly! Good. They kept the nipples. Other than Miltank, this is the only Pokémon with nipples. Nut milk. And I do like its pointy nose. Shiftry looks kind of like the Ice King here. And his feet sandal things are bent all wrong. And I wish they layered or made the fans not just the static shape and thickness. You know, made them look like leaves. Uh, but I do like how half empty its hair is. It feels extra soft without being too thick. And it sits well. Taillow can sit pretty well too. The feet are wonky, but they're bird feet. Bird feet are a little weird looking by default. The coloring now though seems too vivid. The red is also a bit deeper than normal. Uh, considering how birds choose mates though, I assume this tailo gets all the cloaca. Swillow also has very contrasty of colors. It is extremely blue in person. I'm not sure if that's coming up well on camera. And the tail is off-colored from the rest. Normally I'm pro printing fabrics, but this time, eh. Also, its wings are too attached. Wingle! Oh boy, it's cute! I love this little dude. He's so ball-shaped, like a friend burb. And the little feet! I, I can't just keep screaming feet every single time there's a plush with cute feet. <sighs> well, I do wish the wings were bendable and not stitched in place, but I guess this is how they would sit. I was just sort of hoping to recreate the beautiful wild area. Pelipper. Wow, it's just mouth, isn't it? Really puts in perspective how big of a mouth it's got. And its wings are oddly bent upwards. Not a huge fan of it, but it's not bad. It's got a good bean belly. Rolts? Wow, its pants are so poofy they remind me of parachute pants. And you can lift the hair to reveal the eyes. I see dead people. Curlia! Love the pose, it's cute. And the skirt is really open on the back. Is this a good idea, Pokemon Company? Gardevoir really makes me think the face looks like an owl in 3D. The chest thing is very flat too, not straight out. And yes, since I know you'll ask, you can lift the skirt. Gosh, you people. And look, the body's a tube. Okay, good. Next, Surskin. Well, it can't sit at all. It just belly flops. It's kind of silly, but I love how the legs are bending awkwardly all around. It's a good ball shape like other mom, but with a murder spike. Masquerain doesn't really look all that angry or like a face here either. The flaps are too angled up, and if you bend them down, it looks like 90s anime. If you have no legs, can you sit? Shroomish is also a bit off-colored. Isn't it supposed to be more creamy? And its feet are a bit too far forward. It makes it sit, but it still looks funny. Especially if you were to imagine it standing on its legs as they are now. Mine's sort of squished too, but that does mean you can hold it like a vegan-friendly mushroom burger, meaning throw it like a ninja star. Bloom! See, this color! Shroomish was wonky, but I love the hat and the frills! Well, I'd love them if they would stay down, but they don't. It's kind of messy looking, but it's really cute. I just, I just am happy because there's Breloom merch finally. Well, Slackoth is a cutie, but that is for sure not sitting. Jeez, they really slacked off on this design. I like the bits of fur on its back though, and its little nose. Plus its pink belly is something you normally don't get to see. Ooh, this plus is good. Looks like it's vigorously cleaning its butt. <clears throat> 
Also, it's really strange seeing it in this pose for some reason. Slacking! At least they got the pose right, but there's something off. Maybe it's the slight smirk, or the weird fact that it sort of falls backwards when laying there. It does not sit, and there are hundreds of words I could use to describe it, and cute is not one of them. I mean, look at those hands and that face. Ninkata! You know what? I enjoy how many Gen 3 Pokemon don't really sit, or can't really. It makes for a more interesting game here, what with the quadrupeds and the legless ones and such. And Ninkata is one of them. The little wings are cute, and the legs aren't terrifying murder scythes. And he's got the littlest smile on. Look at that! Ooh! Ninjask. Technically, you can make it sit on its butt, but it rolls around too much. Like a little kid full of energy, you just can't make it sit in place for any longer than a minute! Which is very fitting. I enjoy the mixture of stitching, embroidering, and layering of the fabrics here, though. And the wings feel like proper bug wings. It has depths! This is a really good plush! Sherinja! Hole! Hole! Whole demon gateways to hell aside, Shedinja definitely can't sit, but I do like how buggy eyed the bug eyes are. Whisper. It's cute. Yes, it sits. And its little ears are up, meaning it's loud time, kids. I never noticed, but it's got one sound bar on its butt right above the little flute hole. And Loudred has three. They skipped the two entirely because Loudred is just louder, and the rest of the plush is pretty good. The front has the cute ears with printed speakers, and the teeth are somehow both perfect and terrible. They don't align right, but that somehow makes it better. It gives it more character. Oh, and the feet claws just look like more teeth. Or do you think the teeth look like feet claws? Exploud! This dude toots! You never really get a good scale of just how many tube things this guy has. Plus, it's fun to rub your hands across all the pipes. Oh, and look, he's got four sound bars on his back. The Exploudist I see. The teeth ended up being more aligned on this one, so it's better, but less fun. And the side profile, that's just hilarious. I'm lightheaded now. <laughs> Makuhita, just like the Mon, is okay. Nothing fancy. Just, uh, I like the mitts. Yeah, they are there. And it has good weight. It sits. It's, it's arguably cute. Uh, but it's no Hariyama. Oh man. Feet. What are those? Do not touch. And the booty is so big. Like if you turn it over, it's just butt. Damn, girl, wait. What's that? Are, they, are these eyebrows or is it hair or is it a bandana? You, do you, is it all three? I never noticed. I guess at the end of the day, Haruyama is just an extremely manly humanoid man. Just like this man. Hey, do me a favor real quick. Look at this man. Look at this man. Look at this man. And look at this lady. What do they all have in common? They're better looking than me. That too. But they also all use today's sponsor, the Manscaped Performance Package 4.0. It includes the all-new Lawnmower 4.0 body hair trimmer with skin-safe technology to greatly reduce nicks and cuts, the Weed Whacker, which is the most advanced ear and nose hair trimmer, ball spray toner, anti-chafing ball deodorant, a travel pack, and anti-chafing boxers. These folks all love them. <laughs> but like, who even are they? Merman Tommy? Professional Mer- Professional Merman? <laughs> Honestly, he's probably more manscaped than anyone. Tylen Leduff? I have two subscribers and like anime. Now that's a man I can get behind. Tom Cal One? You mean the manliest man? I mean, look at him. A manscaped transformation. But you know what? This collection of models and athletes is missing one very important thing. An overweight Poketuber. And now that I'm among them, I can more confidently tell you my secret. I've got a code. It's LOXTON20. You can get 20% off of your order plus free shipping if you use that code at the top link in the description. Do it. Your balls will thank you. Like my nipple. And now from man to baby, it's Azuril! I wouldn't have faulted them for putting the tail next to it. Er, well, no, I probably would have. Uh, but they went the extra mile and did it proper. Nice! Nose pass makes me just want to honk its nose, it's so red, and its hands are built in for hugging. What a cutie. Skitty! 
Oh my gosh. Skitty is one of my favorite Pokemon, and for a time as a kid, it was my favorite. And here, it's just kind of... Eh. I wish the tail wasn't stitched to the rest of it, and the face is kind of wrong. Like, they messed up its proportions, in a bad way. Most of these plushes in this line have messed up proportions, but those changes are to make them more cute. But here, they just did the opposite. Del Ketty, though, is perfect, and I love it. The neck things, the sitting pose. Uh, too bad that when you stare right at it, it stares back beyond you. Sableye has really gross feeling eyes, but I guess so do most things. But this plush's eyes are scratchy, and the right one on mine is misprinted slightly. It does sit well though, good stuff. Maybe they should call it Stable Eye. Ah, it's been a while since I've seen this Pokemon. It got lost behind the shelf because she barely sits, and has to lean on the hair chomper like a tripod. The poofy legs though, good touch. I wish the hair was an extra layer instead of the same level as the skin, and the tooth problem isn't as bad on this one, so props to them. Wow. It would have been cute if the eyes weren't cursed. They feel gross, are bulgy, and you can move them around. I would not want to be left home alone with this thing. That was, this was really bad pun, I'm sorry. How am I supposed to say that? Laron? It's so small. It's actually tiny compared to Aeron. Like what? Uh, it's a common issue with Pokemon merch in general, but the sitting cuties so far have been generally okay in this regard. Hmm. Well, at least it's good enough to pet. A lot of good textures on the back. And it's not sharp textures, just good textures. Agron is at least taller than Aaron, and it's got really good greebling. But uh, you can lift its dumb nose thing, and it's hilarious looking. Metadite's hands are so large, though it sits, kinda. Its ear things are mega stiff though too, so no cuddling, only meditating. Now Medicham has a much more difficult time sitting, I mean unless you count this lean as a sit. And look at those legs! Thick. With teeny tiny feet. And the mouth stitching makes it look like a pig nose, and I can't unsee that now. Oink. Electrike is very soft, and it sits like a good boy, because it's a good dog. The spikes are a right amount of firm, but forgiving, so this is a really good cuddler. Manectric! Thick thighs save lives, but also allow this dog to sit. Maybe that's why it sold out so fast. Plusle and Minin are both cute, but interestingly, I had to import Minin, but not Plusle. I guess people just like Minin more. That's how it goes. People tend to prefer negativity. Overall, they are pretty well made, though I think their proportions are a bit off. And their tails are a wee bit sharp, so they're not perfect. Volbeat! I love the little antennas. So full of details and it's not sharp felt. Also, the collar is nice and poofy. Plus, its little tail is a cute light bulb! The wings are also that weird meshy bug wing texture. And the same goes for Illumis, though the antenna are a little lackluster here. And ha, it's got boob plate armor. Ultimately, I guess Illumis here is just like the Illumis in the games. Just a worse Volbeat. Brasilia's flowers are well made, they're stitched in place so they never look weird. The leaf bib can go up for no reason whatsoever, but also it doesn't sit very well as it's too back heavy. Which is strange because like look at its back, there's nothing. I love Gulpin's little kissy face in plush form even more than normal. Mwah, really good shape and feeling ratios. Great plush to hug and kiss. <laughs> Unlike Swalot, who's overstuffed on the bottom, giving it the appearance of a bowl bottom. It's firmer than Gulpin by a lot, too, so it's not as huggable, but it is bigger, so there's more hug zone allowed. Uh, I enjoy that the black diamonds are soft and not felt or embroidery. Carvana! <laughs> it's so red and thin, and its face is like super dopey looking. Mine's lopsided as well, so that doesn't help its case. However, it's also soft, which is the opposite of its rough skin ability. How do you goof that one up? Oh, and its teeth aren't felt. They are mesh, so they feel not terrible, which is surprising. Speaking of teeth, Sharpedo's teeth are perfect. They point how real teeth should, so it gets a really good score. Like, give it whatever Jaws got in theaters out of 100. I don't feel like looking it up. Also, it's really soft in general, so more points than that. This is better than the Jaws movie. A little small, though. Whalmer, she's so spherical, and I mean full of beans. So many beans. And why is it so tall? It's so much bigger than the Whale Lord. This is one of the smallest Whale Lords I have. Now I need to get me an even bigger one to make up for this baby Whale Lord. Noomal or 
normal, as some say. Wow, I hate this. One, it's really firm, like the firmest plush of the set so far. Oh, is that because it's it's numb as in stupid, so it's really dense? I hope that's what they were thinking, and it, it is not what they were thinking. Uh, but other negative points, its mouth is gross, and its head is massively tall. The only thing that she's got is that the fabric on the back that's printed is nice. Like almost always. Cramorant. Oh, it's doing the sitting pose that camels do, but not well. But she's trying. The zeros on the side are also really thick. Uh, I'm not sure if the embroidery is thicker or not. Uh, the little volcanoes are sort of lumpy too, but that should be okay. Camel humps aren't perfect. Torkoal! Oh, he's so happy looking! And his shell's bottom has a little band. It's so nice and detailed. Overall, good. Though it struggles to sit, but I think that's adorable, because you can tell that it's really, really trying. Spoink! Oh, this one's so cute! This one's dead. I mean, it's not bouncing. The little orb is so perfect in plush. It's all mesh-like, also. It's too bad that its tail isn't springy. They could have actually hidden a wire in it or something. That would have also helped it sit, because currently it's struggling to do so. Grumpig's ears are so thick. Like, I know they should be big, but thick? Shouldn't they be hollow like normal ears? And the tail is also really grossly flat and just sort of attached to the body. And its arms are all out like a bodybuilder who can't lower his arms. Uh, though for all of the faults I'm giving it, this is one of my favorite plushes of the day so far. It's just so good. Look at it. Oh, spin, uh, uh, it sits, check, cute, check. Look at that happy face. Oh. Are all the Spinda plushes different, you think? Is mine different from yours? I assume not, because that would increase manufacturing costs, but oh gosh, would it be cool. Trapinch? Whoa! Where do you work out? At the library. This guy's head is huge. But I do wish it were bigger. I mean, the other Mon's heads are larger with smaller bodies in this plush line, because, like, that's sort of the point of the plush line. They're cutified. But then, like, that's Trapinch's whole thing, and they made it less chibi here. Vibrava is another cutie. I love his little fangs. He looks like a dumb vampire. His legs are also really fun and thin and the wings are well made. I was worried that they would do the stupid heat treatment thing to the wings like so many others, but they didn't. Why didn't they just do this for all of the others? It's so much better. Well, if I had to complain, the wings are a little too close. They could be offset more, but that's if I had to complain. Flygon. Ah, oh, the little like a cat. Why does it do that? Flygon a cat? Well, I guess dragons are all cats after all. That's an Elder Scrolls reference. Flygon's little wings here are fluffy and squishy and fun all around. It's good. Cacnea is pretty cute. I do love all of the details on it. The top flower bit is a little squished, and it's also that butt. Just th that butt. You got a dumpy. But at least it's a Pokemon who can sit and is cute. But at what cost? He's shaped like a cheese wedge instead of a spherical friend. Cacturn. Is it smiling? Isn't it supposed to be edgy and have like a resting angry face? It gets worse too because you can lift its face flap and it's just your average minimum wage worker. I do like the spikes though. I wish the front ones were actually 3D like the rest. Swablu. I'm just gonna say it. Could be fluffier. Yeah, it's cute still. And the little ear top feathers are fun, but it could be fluffier. Altaria, again, fluffier is needed. It definitely has gross fluff currently. Why not make it actually soft instead of making it just look soft, but then you touch it and you're just like, eh, I don't want to touch that. That feels disgusting. I have no idea what words to use as an adjective. So that's just my experience with it. Ah, Zangief. Don't let him grab you with those massive arms of his. I can see they wanted to layer the colors, but all they did was make him Popeye. Gosh, and then they went and did the printed fabric for its ears and chest and underclaw. <sighs> I do enjoy the cool claws being fully black though. Uh, but as for being a plushie, Zangoose is really, really firm and overstuffed. And Sivaper! Oh wow. Wow, wow, wow. Look at those humps. Those snaky lady humps. Check them out. I don't understand. Who made this? What was going on through your head? I mean, this is terrible. You could have just made it like a Gyarados plush clone or something. I know that this is what Viper does in its art pose, but like its body is bending into that shape, not merging into itself. Jeez. I feel so sorry for whatever life form has to endure this body shape. Lunatone, it's game time. Which side is the bottom? Where does it sit at? Whoa, time's up. 
It's the side with the heavy beams, which is this side. The bottom. The struggle is real, though. Then Sol Rock! Ah, finally a rock with a well-defined butt. Also, it's fun to rub the star points. I don't like how sharp bits and pieces of it are, though. But, eh, felt, blah blah, you get it. Its back is sort of not round, but I'm guessing that will help it sit better. So, we'll give it a pass. Barboach! This is almost life-sized. Also, thank God for the beans in the butt. I wouldn't know where to set it on. Oh wait, it can't sit. It's a fish. Still a very cute hot dog shaped Pokemon though. Too bad there isn't a hot dog bun Pokemon. Yet. Whiskash! Love the whiskers. Good lengths and stiffness. The mouth is sort of weird though, because it's only stitched slightly, so it's not straight. Good vibrancy though, and a nice heft. Corefish! Ha! I love the bulging eyes and the little feet! You can also make him hit himself, and hit himself, and hit himself. You could also spin it like a noisemaker drum, and he's a helicopter of punching. I love this Pokemon now. Crawdont is so red, and somehow less cool than Corfish. Its face is all embroidery work, so it's very stiff. Like, I could eat off of it stiff. I wish his arms were stronger so that I could hold pencils or something on my desk. Baltoy is a pretty generic plush. It can't sit, its arms are fun tubes to smack around, and it also does not spin like a top. So yeah, generic plush. Clay doll also can't spin. Quick, which way is it facing? Wrong! Also, they didn't put enough beans in its bottom to make it sit. The head is just way too top heavy. I don't think any amount of beans could help it. Lilip also can't sit, and that's despite its stiff neck that sounds like me when I sleep wrong. And why are these leaf tentacles so hard to make face out? Though, I guess it's sort of funny when holding all of them forward versus backwards. Now, Cray Dilly, because of its heft, actually sits really well for being so tall. Kudos to it. Maybe it can make up for its younger sibling. Also compared to Lilip, the... Linuses? The Peeves? These things? They are nice and soft, not stiff like Lilip's. I guess that comes with age. Anorith. Oh no! The eyes! I love him! His arms dangle when you hold him up also. And the stitching on the belly and everything. There was just so much more work put into this mon than what was really needed. I mean, who likes Anorith? Me! I like Anorith even more now. This is just so perfect! Armaldo is much bluer than I thought. And it too is a detailed hunk of love that sits very well. The hands. The hands! 500 million points. Just because. Or as some say, because, eh. That's a BC and BCE joke. Feed us? Ah yes, the ugly fish. Well, it can't sit, and it's ugly by design, so the lips don't help. But the fins are cool, I guess. Very soft. Melodic, or Milotic. Either way I say it, people say I'm wrong. I can show them how they say it in the anime and the games, but it don't matter. I'm still wrong. It's a good plush though. The fade on its eyebrows, the printed tail, the glued tail fin spreading is so much better than Shiftry's leaves. I love this. And it's so much better than the other tube mon also. It's shaped so well. However, just like all of the other snake boys, it's stitched. So we still get no straight Milotic. But what else is new? It's cast form! Come on down to cast form! We got hot ball that's sort of sit! We got wet ball that is actually really good at sitting! And we even have windy ball that looks really, really blue under this lighting and can't sit up, but can sit when upside down. Now it looks like a jellyfish. And we've got ourselves a special! For the price of four plushes, you can get one Pokemon! That's right, four for one! And the normal one struggles to sit because again, it's way too tall for it head, and too big and heavy for it dang booty. Looks and feels like a shaking baby. Four for one, order now. Kecleon, oh no, he's sad. Frowny face. Tail is fun to rub, because spirals though, and it sits super good. Wait, should I have done a blank box turning and talked about Kecleon? <laughs> the editor do that now. Okay. Ah oh, yes, Kecleon, the best plush. So perfect, yep. Look at it sit there. <laughs> yeah, I'm so funny. Shop it! I paid $12 for what is essentially a crusty sock under my teenaged bed, with a face. Oh yeah, it wards off spirits! And everyone else too! <laughs> Bayonet is a little hard to get to sit upright, but with some finagling you can do it. The hair head tail thing is the culprit, and the zipper effect on the face isn't super great. I feel like I could use more detail in the zipper. Duskull! A mighty fine ball of cute. Love that the mask is just on top of the single eye, there's even a pupil under the middle bit, see? Very good. It cannot sit at all, however. The tail is in the way. I've honestly never met a ghost who could sit. They all just pretend. Like Dusclops, I guess. 
it pretends to sit good. I love the mouth flaps and the weird scarf thing and the fingers, oh my! And the stitching to make the layers, it's a really good job here, but are his feet backwards? How do you make a mistake like that? Oh, just checked. They're backwards in the game too. It's so weird. Now, there are a tropious amount of things that are weird here. Like the leaves are oddly thick, like like, like, they, like they aren't flat. What a useful continuation of the sentence. Well, its helmet is also really long. Like, I can only see one eye without peeling it back. And her bananas are small! I wanted bigger bananas! Chimico! Aww, so much cuter in person. Also very, very blue. Much bluer than it should be. Uh, but I love the tassel tail thing. Honestly, I could see myself hanging this up with a fishing string. That is, if I liked Chimeco at all. Into the bin it goes. My Absol's ear horn thing is covering its eye, so it's somehow even more emo. And the tail isn't shaped right, it's just a tube. It's missing the little sharp edge on the bottom, but the front chest is really fluffy and poofed out, so there's that. And that absolutely does not make up for all of the fan art I've seen. Why not? Ha! The head dingle is doingly. The ear flaps are fun to smack also. And the single eyeball. I just want to squeeze it out like it's a fish head. Well, Snow Run's a little teepee. And you can fit your fingers all the way into the hat and it's actually a ball inside. So Snow Run is ball shaped, like Glalie. Oh, and it's so extra soft and puffy. It's weird to explain. It's also the only sitting cutie thus far that feels exactly like this. It's like spongy, almost. Like a smooth, sponge-filled, Sham wow. Glalie, it's a ball, but it is sharp as heck. The holes are pain. Do not pet a woga, a woga. At best, this would be good to throw at your siblings for being annoying. Sveal, what a perfect plush. I honestly don't really gotta talk about it. Just, just let it spin. Yeah. Yeah, look at it go. Yeah, turn around. Woo. 10 out of 10 would huck into a pile of pillows because I love him. Aha, a step in the wrong direction as always, it's Celio. Sadly, the mustache is sort of stitched poorly. Actually, without the mustache, it might look better. Also, that tail is hilariously small. Wall rain. Wow, it's so like gray. Light blue, I found where all of the oversaturated mon got their color from. And I think the tusks could have been a smidgen bigger. And they're so banana colored. Did they mix these up with Tropius's bananas? Shh, shh. Pearl is sleeping. Its clam body is extremely thick. It can't close all the way like a clam should. But other than that, it's a pretty good plush for shelf living because it's not comfy to hold or touch at all. It's got a lot of firmness inside of the shell. Probably cardstock-esque stuff in there. Huntail. Again with the teeth sticking straight out. You'd think they'd have gotten better by now. And really, another non-sitter? But I'm sure you could fit this anywhere. It's like a wiggly arrow. Gorbis! As you can see, it cannot sit well, but it's rather pointy, so I'll give it a point. Really can't! The coolest fish of the gen. It's camo patterned. How neat is that? Plus, its face here looks like a battering ram, and it's so stuffed it's firm as heck, like a rock or a battering ram. Nice! Uh, hey, can you sneak me some extra points? Uh, sorry, I'm not keeping track. This is all made up and the points don't matter, so I really can't do that for you. Uh, okay. I guess I could. All's fair in love, disc, and war. And this plush doesn't sit, and it's a fish. But honestly, uh, if you were the kind of person who wants a plush of a love disc, you can't get much better than this. Yaha! The final stretch! It's Bagon. Bagon. You know, I always hated this Pokemon. Something about its hair, but in plush form, it's not that bad. It's like a blue Charmander with no tail and stupid hair. Shilgon. It's spherical! That's all it's got going for it, though. Its overall shape feels a bit off, like many of the other round and overstuffed cuties. But they did give it cute little feet pads, so it's got that going for it, I guess. My Salamence's wings are kind of wonky, but they are fluffy and soft. Plus, its face is dumb looking, which could be a point for it depending on how you look at it. And the armor plating on its belly is super thick, and only stitched on the front and back, so you can stuff things in there Vor style. Oh jeez, Beldum is huge compared to its evolutions. But I like how firm the horn is. But how can you look me in the eyes and say that this is a sit? The beans are in its chest! Matang! I like that one hand has its fingers pointed and the other looks to be grasping. I do enjoy the stitching on this whole line and how it makes them look more detailed than just a hockey puck with arms. Meta Gross can almost stand, but the back left leg on mine is twisted, so it takes a while. The X is okay, but they could have glued it instead of using these tiny stitches in the middle and edges. It looks weird, and it's like overly round, but that's a plush problem, not it. 
Reggie rock? No felt hexagons glued all over it. Well, how do you convey that it's made of rocks then? Oh, I see. They finally figured out stitching. That's crazy. I like the slinky arm look, but the rock shoulders are a little flat. Good heights though. And the legs look like corgi drumsticks. Reggie ice is not sharp. It's pretty soft and round, but it's plush, so whatever. The legs are oddly shaped, sort of like ice cream cones, and now I can't unsee that. And the back spikes just look like hot dog tumors. Ultimately, it's not a terrible plush, but it's not a great one either. So let's add it to the mediocre plush Reggie ice tree. Dof, 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 dof. Reggie steel is properly very firm, but that of course means that it can't sit right, and its entire bottom body is just beans, so it sounds funny when squeezing. Good baseball hooking size. Latios and Latios. I like that there are different fillings in each. One is firm fluff, and the other is less dense fluff and beans. Latios' tails are also way more fun to pet. Also, way more tube-shaped. Kyogre! The ultimate. The fins are sharp, so it's not great to hug, but it's passable. The fins are, however, very poofy and hollow-seeming. I want to hide a squeaker in it. And bonus points, it can do this. Wow. Groudon. Stephen? <laughs> what went wrong? Don't answer that, it's rhetorical. Clearly the answer is all of it. All of the spikes are aimed incorrectly and the teeth are just stitched on. Its tail is also sort of small and should have been way flatter and longer, but the face? The doy. I just can't take it seriously. I mean, it looks like it would think that going head to head against something super effective against it while it's standing completely surrounded by the opponent's element is a smart thing to do, you know? So I guess they got the caricature over, but at what cost? Now Rayquaza, where do we begin? The fins are all sort of sharp, the teeth are trash like normal, and its face, good lord, it's so dopey, and its big old mitt hands are all flopping around, and it's stitched together, like all of the snake likes. Re. But hey, at least it's not me. Jirachi. What a cute friend! I had to import this one too. It's just so perfect in every way, so clearly loads of people would want it. The fluffiness is great, it's fun to hug, it sits, it can go anywhere, and the only thing that I can think of that's a point against it is that the tassels are a bit thick for my liking, but like, at this point, I've almost got avg itis turning a minor imperfection into the second coming of Genghis Khan. And lastly! Deoxys. Every form looks like they'd do best sitting on a shelf and or are trying to desperately not let the hemorrhoids rupture again. I mean, look, they already had to be sewn back together back there. Other than that, though, the tentacles are fun to touch, but overall, these are pretty meh. Except for the defense form. It's thick and fun to hug. The others are just boring human plushies. And there you go. Gen 3 sitting cuties. We're all caught up now, but Gen 4 should be soon enough. Thanks for watching and giving me another tax write-off. You can help support these extra costly videos by becoming a patron or by checking out our sponsor, Manscaped. And we'll see you on the next one.